It's your man, Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a modern mullet self haircut tutorial. And before we get into this haircut tutorial, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Alex Curas. Now to get started, you want to section off the top part of your head to the sides and back using a pair of duck clips. So using the number three guard with the lever open, you want to debulk around your temple area in like a C-shaped motion. Uh, because mullets are basically like taper fades in a way, at least on the temples on the sides of your head, you want to have that like roundish shape around your temple. And using the number three guard lever open, I'm just going in and debulking as much as I can. And now using my trimmers, I'm just going in and creating that first guideline uh, right around the top of my ear. And then I'm going down about half an inch into my sideburns, um, creating like a slight arc, like a slight roundish shape from right around the back part of my ear towards the front by my temple. Now using my foil shavers, I'm going in and cutting the hair down to skin to make it really smooth. Now using the no guard lever open, I'm going up about half an inch from the previous guideline, making sure I'm not cutting the hair behind my ear. And now to fade in the hard line, I'm just going to be going in and lowering the lever positions as I go down to fade in the line. So using the lever all the way open to halfway open and then closing it fully to get rid of the hard line. And if you're still seeing a hard line after this, grab the trimmers again and use the corners to knock off the rest of the hard line. Now using the number one guard lever open, create another half inch guideline. Now using the number one guard with the lever closed, go in and soften up the hard line. Using the half guard lever closed and using the corners of the clipper, go in and knock out the hard line. Now using the number two guard lever open, go up half an inch from the previous guideline with a slight flick out motion to cut off any of the longer overhanging hairs. Using the number one and a half guard lever closed, go in and fade in the final hard line using the corners of the clipper. Now using thinning shears and a comb, go in and start to blend in the hair by your part line to the faded portion on the sides of your head. 
And if you feel like you're struggling a little bit with the shears or the thinning shear work on the sides and top of your head, definitely check out my self record course. I do personalized one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls for roughly about one hour each within the self record course. So I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to check that out. Now to fade in the haircut to your beard, use the no guard lever open and then slightly close the lever as you go in and fade in the line. If you need to use the trimmers to knock out the final hard line. But then once you have that, you're also going to need to flip your clipper upside down with the no guard lever open and then just guide it down your beard to knock out any of the longer hairs. You guys know what they say, business in the front, party in the back. That's what makes a mullet. So we have to wet the hair and go in and start cutting the top so that it looks like the typical mullet, right? <laughs> I'm just looking at myself in the mirror looking like, wow, that's a little crazy. I've never had hair like this. So it's, it's, it was a really interesting uh, uh, time. I actually really enjoyed the mullet. But anyways, uh, when you're cutting the top of your hair, uh, you want to section off the hair vertically and horizontally. Remember, when you're cutting your hair on top, especially if you're giving yourself a mullet, the back of your head should be longer than the front. So you should basically have a division by the crown of your head. That's like the stopping point of when you're cutting the hair on the top, right? So if I'm cutting an inch, inch and a half of hair off the top, I want to stop right around the crown and then slightly blend it in towards the back of my head. And now using my trimmer, I'm just going in and cleaning up my hairline, going around my temples, going around my ears, cleaning up any of the longer loose hairs around the neck and just making sure everything looks clean and tidy. Now to style this mullet, I've got some gravity paste by Hans de Fuko. I got a nice pea-sized amount of product, emulsified it completely in my hands, and then I just ran it through my hair like crazy, and I'm gonna be styling it like a pompadour. But you guys, this is the before of the self haircut. Your boy was looking like Humpty Dumpty. He sat on the wall and he had a, a big fall. <laughs> your, boy, your boy was nursing some birds up in that nest of hair. And then you guys, this is the mullet with the slight pompadour style with the product. I think the mullet came out super nice. And I'm telling you, after I cut my hair like this, I was feeling myself. I played soccer with my neighbors. I was like, I was just like on my thing. You know, I was confident, feeling really good. Like for some reason, the mullet just made me feel really confident and happy. So I was like a little upset when I cut it, but super excited to give myself the mullet and i definitely think you guys should give it a shot as well and if you did learn something new from today's video definitely leave a like share it with a friend subscribe if you're new to my channel and definitely check out my self-record course link down below especially if you're looking to get private one-on-one -on -one live sessions with myself but thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you all next time peace